this is my channel the fancy hat lady reads i am wearing one of my fancy booktube hats and i have been procrastinating filming a lot of videos that are intimidating to me because they're big media wrap-ups and things that I think are going to take a lot of energy that I feel like I don't have. Um, so today I am getting the ball rolling again on my channel here by doing a quick and easy video to film and that's going to be a book haul. This is a book haul of all of the books that I bought in the months of October and November. Some used books, some new books. Let's get started. I've got three used books that I bought during these months from two different used bookstores. One is a bookstore that I love but don't go to very often because it is uh, in a neighborhood that I just don't spend much time in. That said, very classic, old school, hole in the wall, books stacked up everywhere type of used bookstore experience. And I feel like those have been sort of disappearing lately, so I'm happy that this one is still open. Um, the two books that I got are first Raphael by R.A. McAvoy. This is the third book in this trilogy that I've not started reading yet that I believe is historical fantasy. This is the same author who wrote Tea with the Black Dragon, which I read years ago before I joined booktube and really liked at the time, but this seems like a very different breed of fantasy. I have the first two books. They are Damiano and Damiano's Loot. And the reason that I bought this, even though I haven't read these first two books, is because these are fairly hard to come by. I don't see them in used bookstores a lot. After I bought the first one, it was a while before I saw a copy of the second one, and so I bought the second one because like, oh, it's the sequel and I haven't seen this anywhere. And then same goes with the third because I, I'm always afraid if I pick up a book that's the first in a series that's kind of old and hard to find that I will read it and then like not have access to the rest of the books. These are from the 80s based on the copy copyright information in them. They seem to all have been published from like 1983 to 84. And now I have the third book to wrap up the trilogy whenever I decide that I want to read a fantasy trilogy from the 80s. And then the second book I got at that same bookstore was a much more recent release. This is Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. This came out early this year. I think it is a combination of space opera and romance. It got some good buzz when it was released and it's blurbed by a very impressive list of authors on the back. So when I saw this used copy at a very discounted price of a very new release, I picked it up. And then the third used book I picked up was from a different used bookstore. This is the one that has the massive $1 section that is absolutely devastating to my bookshelf organization because I buy all the books and then I don't read them. I just sit on them, but they were all only $1. Um, but that is is Lady Hotspur by Tessa Grattan. This is the second book in the same world as The Queens of Innis Lear, but I believe this is a companion standalone as opposed to a direct sequel. Um, this is epic fantasy. It's a Shakespeare retelling of Henry IV with some gender bending of some of the principal characters. I honestly don't know if this is a retelling of both parts of Henry IV or only part one because that's the play that Hotspur is in. Um, but regardless, another Shakespeare retelling set in the world of the Queens of Innes Lear. I've been very intrigued to pick this up despite some of the mixed to negative reviews that I've seen. I thought the first book did some really interesting things spinning off from the source material in some interesting directions, so still very excited about this one. And then in terms of the new books I bought, these all came from Barnes & Noble with membership coupons that tempted me to buy books when I was otherwise not going to buy books. So the first Barnes & Noble member coupon that I had that I used was one in October that was some amount of percentage off your entire order. So I was like, ooh, this is a time to buy a lot of expensive things and get a discount on all of them. So I bought a lot of volumes of manga. Um, these are three volumes each from two different series. Um, the first is volumes three, four, and five of How to Treat Magical Beasts, Mind Master's Medical Journal by 
uh, Kazia. This is a series that I read the first two volumes of um, when they'd just been released in English and I enjoyed it. I thought it was like cute uh, veterinary fantasy. Um, and as far as I can tell, the series is actually now complete at five volumes, and if it really is such a finite short five volume series, I have absolutely no reason to not read the whole thing. Um, and then the next are volumes eight, nine, and ten of The Girl from the Other Side by Nagabe. And this is a series that's about to come to its conclusion soon with the publication of volume 11, but I'm hoping to take this opportunity now that this is another series that is ending to be able to binge the rest of the story. And then the book that I bought from Barnes & Noble with a different coupon is the only book in this book haul that in any actual like practical sense I have much hope of reading anytime soon, and that is Return of the Thief by Meg Megan Whalen Turner. This is the final sixth, sixth book in the Queen's Thief series that I have very much been enjoying my read of this series. I've read the first three. I have four and five already and I anticipate that I will get to six fairly quickly. The first book was released in the 90s. This one was released last year. This is a series conclusion that has been a long time in the making, um, and no one that I've heard from so far has been disappointed in it. So there you have it. That's my book haul for October and November. This was some easy content to churn out for the channel. Hopefully it will be a precursor to some more interesting content coming soon. Anyhow, let me know what you think of any of these books. I hope you're having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now.